Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Blitzwinger, and welcome to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I want to thank you guys for tuning on in to a brand new game series. I'm super duper excited for this one. This is the newest iteration of Mario on the Nintendo Switch. Your support for Mario Odyssey was overwhelming. We have over 200,000 views on part number one, and we've managed to reach almost 4,000 likes. So for this one, guys, let's try to break that. If we can reach 4,000 likes, let's go on ahead and reach that goal. That would be exceptionally awesome. So if you guys can go on ahead and smack that like button, as well as in the comment section down below let me know your favorite Mario character because the really cool thing about new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe is that now the addition of Toadette and Pichette have been added to the game well I guess the reason why they call her Pichette is because it's Toadette who then uses a special crown just like Mario would use a special mushroom to power up into Peach so I guess that kind of makes sense either way let's go on ahead and get started with the story mode we're gonna go on ahead and set up as one person for now we have Mario Luigi Toad Toadette of course Nabbit and uh, then it cycles back through wait so Huh, interesting. So it seems like you unlock easier difficulty levels if you play as Toadette and Nabbit. So we're not gonna do that, cause we ain't about that life. So we're gonna go with the regular difficulty with Mario ready to help us. Let's -a play. And as far as for me, if I had to pick my favorite character from the Mario universe, I would probably go on ahead and select Typically speaking, Mario, but then I'm also a huge fan of Waluigi because I think he's pretty hilarious. So if I had to pick one good guy and one bad guy character, those would be the ones. Uh-oh. Holy moly, Bowser's coming through with an entire army here. Okay, looks like we're gonna have some troubles here, folks. Uh, move, guys. Oh, okay. Well, that was very polite of him. Okay, that wasn't. At least he didn't squish them. And back in time we go! Ouch. Ha! Ah, seems as though that might have been a new power-up. Yoshis have not been working out a lot, as you can see. You got a little bit of a belly. And everybody's off. Okay, so things are looking pretty chaotic, and it seems as though Bowser is once again kidnapped Peach. So what's new? <laughs> that just seems to happen all the time. At this point, they should... I wonder if Peach can even get, like, insurance. You know, because they just assume that Peach is going to be kidnapped. Like, no insurance company would ever take that risk. They're just like, that's just not going to happen. So, with that in mind, ladies and gents... Here we are in what seems like the very first world of the game, so that's very exciting. And we're gonna go on ahead and make our way through it. This is the Acorns Plains, or Acorn Plains. I had an extra S. So here we go, level one, Acorn Plains. So I'm curious to see what kind of differences there are outside of the addition of, of course, Toadette. If the game will feel any different or not, that'll be um, interesting. So that's gonna be something that we will go on ahead and hopefully learn as we continue to venture through. Okay. So there we go with the new glide suit. Oh! Wait. What was the spin attack? No, that's the spin, regular spin. Okay. There we go. Aha. Wait, what? How did I not make that jump? Use the glider and sticks the landing like an absolute sauce boss. Oh wait, I probably should gather some of these coins. That looks too good to just give up. Oh, I thought that was gonna knock him up. Oh no. Well, that was a little bit lame, if you ask me. Because we should have been able to go on ahead and uh, get that. All right, let's scale up here. And then we go through. Whoa, thank you very much for all that treasure. Very, very cool. We've almost got an extra life, and now we do. Brilliant. Now, let's see. Something tells me there's something hidden back here. And by something, I mean the initial release of this game, which was all the way back on the Nintendo Wii U, wasn't it? Right? 
Oh, awkward. <laughs> we went a little bit further down than I had the intention to. So that definitely messed us up a wee little bit. Okay. Snag those up. And then... Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Can't I wall jump? There we go. Does that do anything? Oh, okay. I was just curious, because... I was wondering if, like, jumping down the... Or dropping down the sign would have done anything. <gasps> Mistakes were made! But we've corrected. Okay, brilliant. Mario time! Let's gather that. And it's time for... A bit of a challenge. Ta-da! Oh, yo yo. Acorn power! Let's go! Come on. Another one? Ooh! Huh, so that's interesting. I didn't actually know that that's how it functions. Wait, so if I... Sweet! And we're through. Wait. Ta-da! Mario time! An extra life. How awesome is that? We managed to get one of the three coins, we managed to go on ahead and get two extra lives, and complete the very first level in Acorn Plains. Now, I think that previously in the past, when I played the initial release of um, Super Mario Bros. U, I think it was called, because I don't think they added the new or the deluxe part. I think those have been new additions with the re-releases and so on and so forth. But back then, when I played it... Oh, okay, that's awkward. Can I not drop down there? Huh. Not even this way? Wow, okay, interesting. But the initial time that I played through this game, I recall, first and foremost, that walkthrough is no longer on the channel, which stinks. But... I guess now we have this to go on ahead and reminisce with and enjoy. So I'm actually really excited about that, especially because I don't think I've actually ever fully finished the game. So that's something that I want to correct and 100% complete the game this time around. Oh, yoy, yoy. That was awkward. Okay. Yikes. There we go. Excellent. I always wondered what these were. Like, because they look like they're made out of candy rocks or something. I don't even know what you would describe these blocks down here. These ones. <gasps> okay, that was dangerous. Oh, that could have gone so bad. We could have just completely slid off the ledge there. Luckily, that did not happen. Wee! That was pretty clean. That was some next level gameplay right there. Okay, so I think I should be able to just run right across all this. Which is pretty brilliant. Get all that and clear our checkpoint. Which of course is always nice. Let's wait for this piranha plant to appear again. Of course, now it doesn't want to do that. Like, as soon, as soon as I'm like, oh yeah, let's wait for the piranha plant to appear. It just goes, mm, yeah, I'm not gonna appear. It's like, wait, what? What do you mean you're not gonna appear? That's not how this works. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know why. Maybe my memory just is not as great as I had thought. But I don't remember the level being designed like this from my previous playthroughs. Ooh. Sweet, another one up. Whoa, guys, I just realized we're at 11 lives already. How crazy is that? That is pretty crazy, seriously. Like, that is no easy feat. Now watch, somebody's like, yeah, I'm at 700. I'm like, wait, wait, what? How? What? How'd you do that? And like, yeah, I've been playing for 14 years. Yes, got it. I thought I missed time that for a second. I got freaked out, but we're good. Course clear, Mario time, celebration, sweet. 
Okay, I'm happy. We've got great momentum right now. We're keeping on pace and on track towards a huge, massive, successful first world. Okay, so next up. Uh oh, what is happening? Flags have been. <gasps> How dare he! How dare he! So it seems like Bowser has officially turned Peach's castle into his own. So we're going to take a bit of a detour here and stop by this uh, little hut over here. And as you can see, we have Toad in here. Pick a block and I'll give you whatever items inside. I'm going to shuffle them now, so watch closely. You don't want to pick a Bowser. Okay. So it is currently in the center, on the right, on the left. On the right. On the left. In the middle. Okay. Probably should have been paying attention to the one that I actually wanted. Hey, that's not bad. We'll take that. I don't know how useful it'll be, but... Thank you, Toad. Oh, wait, I can pick the other one as well, can't I? I forgot. Oh, that's the new item right there. That is very cool. You won. Check it out. Okay, so that's really exciting because that other item there, that, I guess, mushroom crown or whatever you want to call that... Uh, like a crown with a mushroom inside it, I guess, or a toadette helmet. I don't know what you want to describe it as, but either way, that allows you to turn into Peach, which is pretty awesome. Now, actually kind of curious, can Mario use that too? Only Toadette could use that. Okay, I figured. Okay, here we go. Time for a much more serious challenge. This is the Crushing Cogs Tower. We have 12 lives, which means we have plenty of room for error, but let's not even think of that. Let's think positively and assume that we're just going to succeed on our very first try. I forgot that these guys are uh, somewhat more problematic to deal with. Okay. Let's gather all these coins. Every little bit counts. So we get to put that to a good use then. Okay. So now I sort of feel bad about missing that other coin there. You know what else I could have probably done? Could have gone ahead and got these coins as well. We Send them down. Curious to see what's in this one. Whoops. Oh, come on, Mario. Seriously? It's like... You hit everything except the actual correct. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. A two for one. That's what you gotta try to do. That way you end up with the best possible deal. Oh wait, we found a hidden block. I didn't even know that was there. That's pretty funny actually. Okay, let's see where that takes us. Up above. Oh, come on. One, two. Okay, that might have messed me up because I missed that one. Six, seven, eight. Oh, just barely. Just barely timed that. That could have gone very, very badly. Luckily, it did not. Okay. I'm gonna just jump up here. And we've made it halfway through the level already. So, so far, so good. Holy. These coins seem to be having like a spaz attack. They're moving quick. Okay. And now we gotta just leap in between these. Okay. Ta-da! Can I do wall jumps there? Wait. Hmm. Wait. No, no, no. Jump up here. There we go. I wonder how much further we could go with the wall jumps. Okay. Quite a bit further. Wait. Ta-da! I thought that was going to earn me uh, another life. 
Another hidden item found. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's all clear. And so we make our way to the boss fight. We go, folks. Or mini boss fight, I should say. Okay, so I don't remember what these guys do in particular, but I think you can damage them with the uh, snowballs. Yep, probably could, but ideally you don't want to get hit like that. Do 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 do. Got him. But it did look like we could actually freeze him, which I wonder if then you could pick him up with Y and R. Probably again, probably something that is possible. So there we go, mini boss fight completed, like an absolute sauce boss. Look at that, folks. We've already cleared halfway through Acorn Plains. That allows us to save, of course, which is always awesome and something you want to do, because trust me, if you don't want to save, you're going to regret that. You're going to be like, no, I played through all of that and I didn't save. And then you feel like a bit of a buffoon. Now, of course, if you're doing like a challenge where you say like, hey, I'm not allowed to save, that's a whole nother story, but also good luck because you're probably going to need it, because this game can get pretty chaotic. Oh my gosh, like that, for example, where I just mistimed my jump by a tiny little bit and almost paid for it. Hey, it's Yoshi. Wait, doesn't he have his flutter kick? Wait. There we go. That's what I was going to say. Hey, noise. I have to get that coin. It's gonna bother me if I didn't. Okay. Get over here. Let's get that as well. And... Hmm, that did not work as I had hoped it would. But we did discover something, so let's see what that's all about. Okie dokie. Oh no. Oh no. Yoshi. There we go. Wait, what? There we go. The most important component of that was the star, which is awesome. So we managed to grab that. And then we wind back up here. Hello. Oh, that would have been crazy if we managed to get all of them. And it almost got us on the way back, which was a little bit worrisome. Sweet, we grab ourselves our first upgrade. Glide down. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, that should be another upgrade once we get enough of a boost, that is. A few extra points gathered. Luckily, it seems like Yoshi can jump onto the piranha plants, which is fantastic, of course. Oh, no. Yoshi! Yoshi! Where did you go, Yoshi? Okay. I sort of ran into those enemies, so that was my fault, of course. Okay. Kidoki. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did he get me? That was really well timed, man. Wait. Just don't get hit by that fireball attack. Ooh. That was very scary. Come on. What? I thought we would be able to make that jump. I was almost certain. Wow. I look so close, yet so far away. Nope. We're gonna run back, Yoshi. We gotta attempt that again. We're better than that, dude. Got it. Woo! Alright, so I think Yoshi gets left behind. Which means we have to move on without the Yosh. Because we had to jump off. Because uh, we were trying to get the one up. Which works out. 
Okay, so that is pretty nice because of course now we have a new passageway available, but also because this gives us an opportunity to use that previously acquired item. So, hello. How's it going? Yoshi, hey! I'm a baby Yoshi. You look like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. You just meet someone, hey, you look like you know where to find food. I guess I'm gonna follow you. It's like, okay. I, I, I guess you will. Oh yeah, I forgot that that's what these guys do. Okay. I gotta get this coin, thank you. Speaking of coins, that's an insane amount of coins. Do 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 do. Whoa. Okay, these piranha plants are not messing around. They're like, we're going to chop you. Oh, whoops. Wait. How am I going to do this? Yeah. Whoa. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I thought we were going to clip through the floor there. Yeah, that was pretty scary. I'm not even going to lie. That could have gone really, really, really badly. Oh, luckily we managed to clear that course. And that is brilliant. We've increased our score to 209,000. That's pretty legit. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Of course, that's another level in the books. Another thing that we no longer have to be concerned by. But, it looks as though, again, we do have the option here for two different passageways, of course. One through this side, Acorn Plains number five, and then the other one was that little detour that we took. So, let's go back here and check out what the Rise of the Piranha Plants has to offer as well. See, what I'm curious about is... Okay, so yeah, I don't think he can chomp that guy. There we go. Come with me. Okay. More points, because why not? Okay. Let's see. I need to be careful. Land, 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 land. Awesome. Wow, okay, could we get any more fire mushrooms or fire flowers? Are you kidding me? That's pretty funny. It's like, what are the odds of that, right? Okay. Let's see. Send that back. On over. Okay, that's going to keep on bouncing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that could have gone very, 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 very badly. We grab that. Are you kidding me? Come on. I thought he was going to be able to... ...absorb that. Okay, careful. Flutter kicks. Flutter kicks. Not bad. And... I'm just trying to gather... as many coins as we possibly can before we celebrate our victory. Let's go! Mario time! That's what I'm talking about, guys. We are crushing it right now, seriously. I don't think I've ever played a Mario game this well. And again, I know people are going to say, well, you're not 100% completing the levels. Or complaining the levels? What? Completing the levels. That's not what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to complete the levels, not 100% complete them. At least not at this point. If you guys want to see that in the future, I think that could be kind of fun too. So, these cannons are about to fire a barrage of coins and 1-ups. Collect as many as you can. Get more 1-ups than Bowser coins, I guess, to earn the 1-ups. Okay. 
Bring it on! Ow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, come on! How was I gonna know that that one was gonna bounce sideways like that? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, yo, yo. No! I think I've collected an even amount. Or maybe one extra Bowser coin. Darn it. <laughs> it was just literally annoying because sometimes on the top platform, they would bounce and fall immediately. And then other times they would bounce like two or three times. Which, hey, I guess that's the whole point of the challenge, right? Am I about to fight a piranha plant? Do you... Oh. Cool. Hey, that'll be pretty nice. That's a great item to use. If we're in a troublesome level, activate the star power and you're through, you know? It sounds very handy, in fact. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like we can head right into Lemmy's Swingback Castle, our very first castle level. I mean, technically, I guess the mini boss fight was kind of in a castle, but you know what I mean. This is more of a proper castle. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Was that our first loss? I think it was. So it took us the entirety of getting to the castle to suffer our first defeat. Which makes sense. I mean, it was supposed to happen at some point. We're up to 21 lives already. Or I guess 22, because we've already lost just one. Okay, let's grab that. So now I have to be... Um, how did I not? Okay, that I don't accept. Are you serious? We totally landed right on top of that guy instead of sideways. Are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Seriously. Okay. I'm just gonna wait a second. I probably should actually jump off of that platform. Okay. So. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I had it, man. Cause I thought I, I glid, I guess a little bit too late. I figure like if we jump off and we just gl oh, I'm so frustrated because I thought I had that one. I was just trying. It was so tempting to try to go for that second coin. Because it's just right there, you know, like right in your face. So you just feel like, okay, well, okay. Well, that was just a buffoon mode moment. So I apologize about that one. But, oh man, I can't believe I messed up the, the coin fly. I mean, we technically did get the coin. It was the problem more so afterwards. What do we do as far as like avoiding the giant pool of lava right down below? You know, that's the issue. Okay. Like in theory, I, I'm guessing you could probably do that bit right there. Just using the... Um, Okay, thank you. That is very, very, very much appreciated. Whoa. Usually there's something hidden back here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got, folks. Well, we know what we've got. We've got Lemmy. There he is, with his ridiculous boat. 
Or, I never even know if it's a boat. Is it a plane? A boat? Is it Superman? Is it a plane boat? Helicopter? You know? What is it, actually? What would you guys call that? <laughs> Lemmy's ship? I guess, right? I guess the word ship would fit that. Here he comes, on the attack. And... Whoa! Oh my gosh. There we go. We've dealt some damage with the fireball. Got him! Alright, so that's one of Bowser's squadrons taken out. These guys were playing Fortnite squads and we just went, Nope, don't think so. 1v4 them. Or however many there are. I think there's eight of them. <laughs> it's just hilarious to see Mario jumping on a ship like that. Just like, bleh, bleh, yeah. It's like, wouldn't that hurt you more than the ship itself? If you're just hitting a ship like that? Well, I guess not. That answers that question. Victory is ours, folks. So with that in mind, I guess that allows us to now proceed onwards and forwards to the next world, because now the Acorn Plains have been completed, and we will do so on the next episode of New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, or New Super Mario Bros. U. Deluxe. Of course, like always, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys here on the next one.